Hi there, Michael Albert here. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration and show you how to make a collage out of a cereal box today. So, um, if you haven't gotten your materials together, you're going to need a cereal box. I'm going to make one out of a corn pops bike box today. You're going to need a bottle of glue, a pair of scissors, and a piece of cardboard um, as a base. Something like, uh, like the back of a writing pad. You know when you have a writing pad with paper and you use the last page? You could use this type of cardboard as the base. And that's actually what I'm going to use today. Okay, so I'm going to take the back of this writing pad that I've that I have. I've used the last page and I've torn it off and I have this nice piece of cardboard and I'm going to cut off the top part of it just to make it a little easier to work with. You don't have to but um, I like to. So I'm starting with a piece of cardboard like this. Then I'm going to take this cereal box I have. This is a box of corn pops, but really you could use any type of cereal and you could use other types of boxes as well. You could use a cookie box, a cracker box, um, a zip box of Ziploc bags, anything that comes in a nice col uh, colored printed cardboard package like this. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cover of the box. And that'll just leave me with the cover of the box. Now, if you don't have a piece of uh, a writing pad to use for the cardboard, here's the back of the box. And that'll also leave you with a nice piece of cardboard that you make your collage on. It has printing on the back, but that doesn't really matter. You can use this side as the base. Um, so once you have your box, the first thing you're going to do is cut the box up into pieces and there's a few different ways I like to cut the box up and maybe I'll show you uh, a few different ways that I like to do it okay um, first I'm going to cut the box in half here's the bottom part and I'm going to cut this into what I call random angles you know kind of like triangular pieces so here, cut this into a few different sections and cut this bigger sections into smaller pieces. I'm going to leave two pieces to show you something else that I like to do in my collage. I'm going to do that at the end. But So here are some examples of some of these random pieces, different types of angles, you can see. And you can take pieces that are a little bigger like this and cut them into smaller pieces if you want. You're not going to want to have such big pieces like, for example, this, because then you could really only put a couple of them onto your collage. Um, but really, you can cut the box any way you like. It's really up to you. So, here's the first way to cut the boxes into the random angles. Okay, another way that I like to cut the box sometimes is into square shaped pieces. And to do that, I'll cut the box into a strip like this. See, here's just a strip. And then you cut it into equally sized equally shaped squares and the square pieces I like because they fit together really nicely one other way that I cut the box sometimes is into strips and again I cut the box into a strip like this but then I cut it into very thin pieces. This takes longer, 
but it really does end up looking pretty cool on your collage. And it's also a good idea to practice cutting different ways. Cutting isn't the easiest thing in the world. It takes practice. Um, parents might want to get involved and help the kids do some cutting as well. But here's the little strip pieces, and again, they fit together very nicely because they have a very uh, straight edge. So now I've got three different uh, types of pieces. I've got big squares and little squares. Four different types, I mean. <laughs> it's big squares, little squares, these strips, and then these angular pieces, triangles and different angles. Um, one thing I wanted to show you before I start gluing the pieces down is that I like to put my initials in my work as a way to kind of sign my collage. So I'm going to cut out the letters of my, the first letter of my name, Michael. So I'm going to make an M out of this. And you could, this isn't so easy to do, but maybe you could write a bubble letter on the back of the, of the cardboard and then cut around it. I've done this so many times that it's easy for me. So there's an M. Actually, I could show you, here's a piece that I was gonna make into an A. And I can show you that with a pen, I could make a bubble letter A. And I can cut around it. Okay, there's an A. So I have my initials MA that I'm going to put on here. So now I'm ready to start gluing. And I'm going to take them one by one and glue them on. So I'm going to start with my M. Put a little bit of glue. You don't want to use too much glue. You just really want to use enough to get the whole back of the piece gluey. You could see and I'm gonna just put it where I want it to be and press it down and I use my finger to wipe off any glue that kind of oozes out the edge okay then I'm gonna put my a down next I want to put my initials down first because sometimes I make the collage and I forget to put my initials down and then it's too late. But here's a, whoops, here's the A. And you can see I got MA on there. Now what I'm gonna do is just start taking some other pieces that I have here and putting a little bit of glue on them and I'm going to just randomly glue them down. But here, let me show you how I've started to glue down different pieces. Here, I'll take a couple of squares and glue them together for you. Remember, you're going to be able to glue your collage down any way you like. You know, there's no wrong way to do it. Um, when I make my collages, I don't usually overlap my pieces. I like to put my pieces next to each other in, in a kind of a way that's called mosaic. Um, I don't know if you've ever done mosaic with tiles or pieces of glass, but mosaic pieces are kind of don't overlap. They're right next to each other, which is what I'm doing. But if you want your pieces to overlap, you can if you want. So here's a few square pieces I've glued down. And I think I'll show you a couple of the triangular pieces just to kind of... Sometimes I put pieces all around my initials so that once the collage is done, it's kind of hard to... Um, 
to see them. You have to look very carefully to find them. And that's fun. I like hiding little messages in my work. I hope everybody's doing okay at home. I know it's really difficult with school being closed and everything that's been going on. But better safe than sorry. And hopefully we'll get through this whole situation pretty soon. And in the meantime, um, did you know that when you make art out of something like a cereal box or something that would otherwise go in the garbage, it's a way of recycling? I think they actually call it reusing. You know, they say reduce, reuse, recycle. That's a big slogan that they use. And, and this is using the cereal box for a second purpose. It was first used to sell cereal in the store. Then we bought the cereal and ate it, and then we had this box left over. So we have found another use for it. We're making art with it. I'm not going to finish this because some of these take me a really long time. I could probably work on this for an hour or more. And I'm doing this for, uh, this video is 15 minutes long. So I wanted to show you one, two more things before I say goodbye to you. Um... The way that I sign my collage on the front is by putting my initials. But I also, when I'm finished, I sign my name on the back. I sign my autograph, Michael Albert. I write the date. Today's date is April 8th, 4 8 20, the year 2020. And I also do this squiggle. It's my squiggle. Maybe you could make up your own squiggle. It's just this little symbol that I've made. So I sign the back, and then I can give it a title. I think I'll call it Corn Pops Collage. Anyway, I hope you have fun making your own cereal box collage. I would love to see a picture of what you make. Um, if you really like doing it, you could make more of them. And, and that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for listening and watching today. Um, I hope everybody has fun making art. And stay safe, be careful, and I will hopefully see you in person one of these days pretty soon. All right? All right, friends. Take care. Bye.